Sovereign God, give to the King your judgments and your justness to this royal son. Then he will administer the help of judgment to your people through your just loyalty, and he will help your poor and needy with the judgments. Then the mountains and the hills will yield peace and deliverance to the people through justice. Then he will provide the poor and needy of the people with justice. He will come with assistance on behalf of the children of the needy, and he will crush those exploiting them. They will stand in awe before you as long as the sun shines and the moon rises generation after generation. Then he will descend like refreshing rain upon mown grass like plentiful showers watering the land. Then, in his days, just conduct and well-being will flourish, as will an abundance of peace and prosperity, until the moon ceases to be. Then, he will rule from sea to sea and from the river as far as the very ends of the earth. And in his presence, those who dwell in the wilderness will kneel in reverence and his enemies will prostrate themselves in great humiliation, looking like they are licking the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the distant coasts and islands will give homage, will pay tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba will bring gifts. And before him, all kings will bow low. All peoples will serve him. Then he will deliver those in need when they cry out for help, and the poor, and those with no one to help them. For he will look compassionately upon the poor and upon the needy, and he will deliver the lives of those in need. From oppression and violence, he will redeem their lives, for in his eyes their life's blood is precious. Then he will live, and to him gifts will be given from the gold of Sheba, and prayers will be continuously offered on his behalf and blessing will be invoked all the day long upon him. Then in the land there will be an abundance of grain. On the mountaintops it will rustle and wave. Its fruit will be as plentiful as that of Lebanon, and those from the cities will flourish just like this abundant growth from the land. Then his name will be remembered forever. His name will be propagated. It will produce descendants as long as the sun shines and all peoples will bless themselves through him and all nations will call him blessed.
blessed and praised and adored is our Lord, Sovereign God, the God of Israel, the One who makes the things of wonder by Himself with the help of no one. And blessed is the name of His abundant glory, and His glory fills up the entire world. Amen and amen. Oh, this is certain. This is so. And here ends the prayers of David, the son of Jesse.